YouTube and this is Linda on Powerfully You. How are you? It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood once again and I just wanted to come to you with just a short little chit chat with you guys regarding being a side chick. You know that has become a popular subject and used to be that it used to be called the other woman and I'm going to start a segment and today is the first day of that segment when I say uh, baby girl pearl and what baby girl pearl is is just dropping a pearl of wisdom to the baby girls which are the younger women and you know sometimes more mature women just need to drop a little wisdom to um, younger women about life when you've gone through some boo-boos some ups and downs yourself you want to pass along something, a pearl of wisdom to help somebody else and to prevent somebody else from going the other way or going the wrong way. So today, my baby girl pearl is, don't be the side chick. You are so much more valuable than that. Don't automatically choose to be the side chick. Why in the world would you? And how do you know if you're the side chick? Trust me, in my life, I have been the side chick, not knowingly, but I have been. And what do you do and how do you know? Well, if you don't know, that is one thing. But some women go into it knowing that they are the side chick. And I just want to check you and say, why would you do that? What is the purpose? You are only uh, adding to a low self-esteem for yourself to be subservient to somebody that really doesn't even deserve your love, to knowingly be the side chick. You're always gonna be not his first thought, not even his second thought. You're way, 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 way down in the list. And why would you put yourself in that position to be way, way, way down in the list for somebody? Don't do it. There is no gain from being the side chick. And a lot of times people think, well, I don't really want a real relationship. And, you know, it's just a physical thing. You know, the more physical you with you are with someone, especially for women, but you know men too, feelings start to happen. Um, and that's when you are sharing a physical love, you are intertwining with that person spiritually and something begins to happen. You know, so you might start off in the game thinking, well, I'm, you know, it's just a physical thing or whatever. Well, don't let that fool you. You end up being the last. You're never going to be first. You're always going to be somebody's last thought. They're never going to put you in the forefront. You are, you just, you settle for being a third string because you're not even a first string obviously his family his all of that is first string then maybe if he has some career and sometimes if you're lucky some people even go with people that don't even have jobs and stuff but his career is second your third fourth fifth somewhere way down the line it's where you put yourself and i always have to ask people did you deserve to be way down on somebody's list where you're not even a really a fourth dog. And though they may call you every day or whatever, that does not mean, don't let that fool you, that you are their first thought of the day. You're not. They've taken care of all their other obligations. And then, oh yeah, let me call her. And basically, it's call her because, you know, you just checking, keeping that flow coming. So, that's the baby girl pearl. Don't settle for being that. And then the other question of how do you know? Because some people fall into being the side chick and they don't know. And that's happened to me in my past. I'm going to say it too. But how do you know when you are the side chick? One of the best clues, if you've been dating somebody for a while and you've never been, you've never met a family member, you've never been to their house, um, you've never been any around, you don't know really any personal information about these people, you don't know their friends, or you may know just one friend, but there is nothing personal that you know about this person, then you're probably the side chick. 
Does he ever take you out? If you guys never go out anywhere, if he never takes you to dinner or, you know, y'all don't share any type of date type of things, then you're probably the side chick. If he calls you at certain times and then has to hang up, you're probably the side chick. Or if you call him, he only speaks for a few minutes and then he has to go. If he doesn't return your calls, then you're probably the side chick. Anything that leads to he, you're not an important thought to him. If when you call him, he doesn't respond right away or, you know, nobody, people work and everything. So that's not always a good clue. But he doesn't respond, period. You know, he may call you the next day or something. Then you're definitely the side chick. And my question for you is why would you be that? Why would you choose to be that? So once you know, change something. You, There are other people and you deserve more. Do not settle for being somebody's second fiddle. We are all star players and we are all stars of our own game. So make sure that in your life, you never settle for second best in anything. Don't settle for second best for anything, but definitely don't settle for second best in a relationship. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you knowingly know that you are the side chick, stop that. <laughs> don't be, don't allow, because if you'll set up for this now, trust me, you'll settle for just about anything later and you deserve so much more. You're precious. You're awesome. You're let me be the first to tell you how much of a precious jewel you are and a queen you are. So do not allow anybody to place you in the position where you're second or third. Because a lot of times when you are the side chick, you're not the only one. A lot of times men have multiple women and you are even down further than in the line than you think you are. So how, I mean, then you're settling for whatever, third, fourth best, really? Give yourself more credit. I give you permission to be more than that. And you know, you get what you, the boundaries that you set for your life, you get that. And if you put unlimited things, unlimited boundaries on your life, like I deserve the best. I, you know, I invest in myself. To make myself the best. So I deserve the best. I do not deserve second best. Don't settle for that. So those are just my little chit chat. Because I hear so many young women talking about the side chick. Being the side chick. Or they didn't know. Let me tell you. If you don't know. I hope I gave you some tips to help you know. And once you know. When you know better. You do better. And that is something Oprah, I think she even got that from Maya Angelou. But when you know better, you do better. If you didn't know, that's one thing. But once you know, do better. Always want better. Demand the best for yourself. And if you treat yourself with dignity and respect, expect nothing less. Nothing less from anybody else. So that's my little, if you want to call it, uh, baby girl pearl for today. So baby girl. You deserve the best. You are the best. You are a precious gem. Don't settle for second best. And that today, loves, is my baby girl pearl for the day. Have a blessed week. Be you. Be beautiful. Be bodacious. Be awesome. Be you powerfully, powerfully you. This is Linda signing off. Have a great week. Thanks. Bye.